what's going on, Trap Squad? You already know who it is. This is Life with OG. I wasn't smiling like this yesterday. Turned on my car. I have a 2012 Acura TSX Special Edition. Not that base model. Um, start up the car. Went to go get something to eat. And guess what you know? My car start putting. You know, do, 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 like that. And then, after it did that, it wouldn't give me no power. Like, the power was super minimal. Even on my way to where I was at, I had performance, and then I, I kept feeling like I was losing power, but I thought I was tripping or something. Till I turned it off and cut it back on later on, and I said, dang, I ain't got no power, and it's putting. Something, something just ain't right. So guess what? You know what I did. I'm gonna show y'all right now. I had him on the head and went right to Amazon. Because, of course, once I went to Google, I found out what was wrong with my whip. Then, once I got that diagnosis, I bought me another cool pack and some spark plug. Because I feel like that's the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, cut to the repairs. Man, I already got my tools and ready to go. We in gear. Let's go. All right, so we do have the hood open right now. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a magnet. So, and you're also gonna need that good old extension. And if you do buy a toolbox, it does come with one of these. This is a spark plug adapter. It also has a magnet in there, but the magnet on mine don't really do much. So I had to buy an additional magnet that looked like a pencil, but it's super long. Paul, no ditty. Anyway, we're gonna hook that bad boy up. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take that cover off which is this. Well, sorry, I'm not gonna take this off because I'm not, I'm not doing nothing here. I'm taking this off, take the four screws off. You're gonna have access to the coil pack. And once you take off the two screws to each individual coil pack, you'll be able to pull them out. That's the, the block. And then you'll be able to take this. Well, of course I'm at the take that tin off because we ain't gonna need that tin right now you're gonna use this after you use the tin to take off some small 10 millimeter screws then you throw that extension on with this good old thing right here and you got to keep twisting to loosen up your spark plug once you do that do one at a time and you in there you get the new spark plugs put them in and you're good to go they do they do sell um that little grease i remember getting that little grease I ain't buy that, so hopefully, uh, I guess that's to keep it from sticking in there. But anyways, I'm gonna go do my thing and I'm gonna let y'all know how it turns out. And also, on my dash, it has a check engine light that keeps blinking. So that was an indicator that let me know specifically what's going on. But if you wanna do a diagnostic check, you can go to AutoZone, Advanced Auto Part, and they can do one for free. You can just go to Amazon and just get one for as low as $14, $12. Diagnose your car yourself. I'm out, OG. Right. Got that first one cracked. Go ahead get the second one once I get it, you know. Make sure you don't strip your uh, screws either. So you gotta get all four. You wanna get one of them magnetic trays too. To put your screws somewhere. But if you don't got one of them magnetic screws from the tool shop, I like to go to Harbor Freight because they got some good old deal. Put it right here. Nice little area. See, this thing is multiple use, man. Storage space. All right, as you can see, I took the coil packs out. Disconnected them from the harness. All you simply have to do is push back on that to release it. All right, as you can see, pretty, pretty much drenched. At least three, three of them. Should all four of them have drenched them all? Now, I did do a sale on my gasket. I also replace to see if it's that's still the issue since I replaced the gasket before this even happened. All right, after long hard work, my magnet was broke. It wasn't it wasn't touching at all. So I asked one of my boys, he's a real good mechanic. He said, you know what? Use some needle nose pliers. Now my needle nose pliers wasn't long enough to grip 
onto the top of the spark plus. So what I did was I went back in my tool, my trusty toolbox, found some of these. You know what I'm saying? These you get these in the uh, your, new, your brand new hair clipper box. I just had them laying around because I, I think I was doing like upholstery work. If you ever look at my other video, you see I got upholstery work, so I was doing that. So anyway, long story short, I got all four, four, uh, four spark plugs out. You know, it was like a good 15 minute delay because I had to troubleshoot and figure out how to make it work. So now we got that new thing. That new thing. And if you look, the old thing looked like it been through some things. Brand new. You see the difference. Now we're going to see if it really has a difference. and If it's going to run 100%, even better than it was before. We're going to find out when we get back to it. As you can see, I made sure they was all connected properly onto these blue connectors. So I got them all lined up the way they need to go. I'm going to put this vacuum line back where it need to be. Because it wasn't the way it is. And, um... Uh, put the screws back on there and we're gonna see what it do baby all right so look i done put it back on i had to raise it up make sure every they lined up you put them back in the right the way the right way you're supposed to take them four screws i said four but i gave you three take these four Put them back where they need to be. Now you can take this socket off and put that 10 millimeter back on there. First, we're gonna put these screws back on. Hopefully, when we start up the car, that check engine light, it might still be there, but you gotta let it run. You gotta drop it for a while to go away. But first, we wanna make sure we no longer hear that shake, that little baby shake that they got going on with the loss of power. I learned a lot about working with this Honda. I'm sorry, it's a Honda, but it's really an Acura. I learned a lot working about working with this Acura. That's what happened. When you get a used car, man, you get a used car, you gotta do a little tune up, oil change, whatever you gotta do. That's what they call it, DIY, DIY, right? Do it yourself. Let me make sure it's lined up. Yep. I, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Make sure y'all disconnect. That's the first step I should tell you. Make sure you disconnect the vehicle. The vehicle's negative um, on the battery, on your car battery. Anytime you're doing anything electrical on your vehicle. Now, I'm not some type of car guru, some kind of car specialist, none of that. I'm just giving you the 411, gang. Cause I ain't know I do none of this till I came to YouTube and Google. I've been saying, I've been telling people, y'all should go check out Google, man. Google got the answers. They got what you need since 2001, 2002, 2003. I've been talking about Google. Google, y'all need to come here and check, man. I've been talking about Google for a while. Yeah, it, it was a once upon a time, man. I just drive a car till the wheels fall off. I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more, boy. I'm trying to keep rolling. You hear me? Got some brand new tires. Got a brand new serpentine belt alternator, et cetera, et cetera. Core pack, spark plug. We ain't going out like that, my boy. So take care of yours, man. Now I gotta put this line back on this vacuum line. I believe that's what it is. Get your need to know pliers that didn't come in handy earlier with the spark plug. Squeeze onto that clamp. First slide it up. Cause you don't want it to be tight when you're trying to slide the holes back on here. Make sure it goes all the way back down to the indication. I'm gonna try to show y'all real quick. Make sure y'all see that little line, that little rivet. You want to slide a little bit more down. Once you get there, then go drop, drop, boom. Right in, right in the spot where it needs to be. Right in the spot where it needs to be. Now these, they got a little hook stand right here. 
Now you slap this vacuum line right back in this spot. Every time you take something off, put it back where it need to go, man. You don't want to leave nothing disconnected. Last but not least, my cover. Yes, I am missing my my A from Acura, but something happened, long story short. I was doing a, a gasket. I was replacing my gasket on uh, my motor, and this sucker just came off, bro, from it, like excruciating heat out here in these Florida sun, man. All right, gang, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go start this bad boy, but I'm going to leave the... I'm gonna leave the camera right here so y'all can see if y'all get any vibration or not. Cause it should be smooth sailing, man. Oh damn, I almost forgot something. I gotta connect the battery. So I already got my 10 on here. They use a lot of 10s on vehicles, my man. Unless you got some crazy form that needs special attention type, you know? Tighten that bad boy up. Yeah, just snug tight. You don't want to go overkill on that joint. Try to beat that joint up, you feel me? You don't want to do all that. Yeah, make sure everything tight. And stay tuned. We back in business, my boy. Now I'm gonna let it warm up and I'm gonna run around the block. But that check engine light went away, dog. And also, make sure if you did lose some coolant due to your experience, fill your coolant reservoir back up. So mine went all the way down on low and it was on full. And that's some, that's a dang on thing. The good thing I bought another $20 box the other day and I got a cheat code because Walmart, they be having a clearing session. They got two of the special bottles that I use for Acura on sale for $12.99. You can't beat that price. The vehicle is not shaking. As well as you can see, there's no check engine light. And you notice my car's warming up a little faster than normal. I like that. Now, I do have my code for my radio. As you can see, it's blinking. I disconnected the negative on the battery. So I got the code. I'm going to set that, turn that back on so my Bluetooth work and all that good stuff. You feel me? Um, hopefully I was able to help the people that need help because it ain't that hard even my dad did it on his Chevy Cruze back home and I, I coached him over the phone he pretty much watched the video and whatever little trouble it, troubleshooting issue he had he figured it out only issue he had with the Chevy Cruze is they have a they got like a security fail safe so it won't start the car and all this nonsense figured it out but anyways, man, thank y'all for rocking with your boy and watching the video. Like I said, man, that car's not shaking anymore. Google, YouTube, helped your boy, man. Somebody else I was talking to, I just gave him, I just gave him like my diagnosis. And they diagnosed me wrong. I was like, nah, that don't feel right. Like the information they give me don't feel right. You feel me? I was like, no, I don't think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to just stick with what I, what I learned, what I seen, what I researched. Because it seemed like all the answers were leading towards my my symptoms like it was blinking and that blinking uh check engine light the orange light on the Acura 2012 i like nah they saying on youtube and on google that should it's either your core pack or your spark plus so guess what i went on amazon for the price of one i got it for two because i only spent sixty dollars i would have spent sixty dollars on some good ass spark plus i would have spent sixty dollars on some good ass core pack listen man my joint my joint warming up fab bro fab bro Man, listen. Thank y'all for riding with your boy, man. It's like with OG, and I'm out.